Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and we are going to be continuing the Elder Scrolls Legends campaign. Now, where we left our heroes off last time, they had found the Imperial Army and are rushing to the arena to try and infiltrate the tower at the enemy's home base, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the names for all these technical things. Anyway, we're trying to figure out where an intelligence leak is coming from. But before I get started on this, I do want to mention I have started a second channel that is dedicated to Call of Duty. Right now I'm playing an equal amount of Ghosts and Black Ops 3, but when the World War II beta comes out, I will be posting a lot of videos on that until the game comes out, at which point the channel will be pretty much entirely Call of Duty, World War II, just fun gameplay, no real commentary on Call of Duty news or anything, just pure fun a gameplay. That is going to be linked in the description below, so please, Check that out, and now let's get into this attack now. Just to be completely honest, okay, we're going to use Imperial Might, and that's the one I've used the past three times to Great Avail. I've played this particular match five times, and I'm super annoyed. I, my recording software is recording in low quality, so it keeps YouTube keeps automatically downsizing it to where the game screen is a tiny little screen, that takes up less than half the size of the actual YouTube screen. So if you watch this on your mobile device, you wouldn't even really be able to see the screen at all. So hopefully this one works out. Now this particular map does have a cool mechanic of random loot items, or random items scattered across the arena. Silence a creature, someone, okay, we're gonna get rid of both of these. We're gonna keep that silence one because it's gonna be really important. Because, as I was saying, this lane is plunder. When a creature is summoned in this lane, put a random item on it. That's cool. Now, Though it can be kind of annoying because it is totally random. Sometimes you get awesome items, sometimes you don't. And if you're not getting awesome items and the enemy is getting spectacular items, what did that even do for me? Yeah, see, that item was total trash trash didn't do a single thing for me now watch this guy's probably going to get like plus three plus three. Oh no just plus three plus zero no biggie all right so prophesy and guard please give me something good plus three plus three that's what i'm talking about did it give me a special effect too you may throw it at an enemy creature to deal three damage oh well yeah i can't do that because Whatever. Okay, so since... Oh, well, both these cards have guard. So, it's not even that big of a deal. How much damage does this guy have naturally? It doesn't tell me, so I'm not going to use my suppress on him. Because there's some creatures this guy can throw at me that get really gnarly. Okay. It is what it is. If you have more health than your opponent... Okay, so... Again, he has to attack me, so we're going to attack him, give him an extra card, but we didn't play a card, so he doesn't have too much of a card advantage over us right now. Okay. That honestly kind of sucks. I'm going to be wasting a lot of mana. But it's going to be what it's going to be. That 1-1 one, one Imperial Grunt on the left lane has the potential to really, really suck. Okay. Oh, that gives us another one-pointer that we can play. Plus five, plus five. Sweet. <laughs> I will take that. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we just lost this game. Oh wait, no we didn't. No we didn't. Mm. No we didn't. At least I don't think we did. We're going to suppress that bad boy right there. And this card has regenerate. So we're going to whack him. I'm going to whack him. No! That was a big mistake. 
That was a big mistake. Mm. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so. I made an awful mistake. We're gonna go ahead and whack him. And we're gonna deal one damage to him. Then... Oh! That's a really good one. I'm gonna wait till next turn though. I'm gonna fill that lane, gonna go ahead and attack him. Now let's see if these guys get awesome cards. He turns him into a 3-3, that's nice. 2-3, wait, what did that do for him? Give him Drain? Nice. Alright, so. That's all we can do. Please don't give him an awesome card. 4-0 Ward, of course. What else would you expect? So... All right, we've got to kill that lethal. Got to kill him. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do this guy. So that, let's see, I mean it doesn't really matter in what order we do these, we just need to get rid of that ward on him. And we're going to do two more damage to him. Hopefully, hopefully, oh don't, whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay. So we're doing okay. It's getting... It's getting a little bit risky. But we did what we needed to do. We did what we needed to do. Okay, so the issue here is I kind of need to play this, but I also need to play this because I can summon a random creature from my discard pile. But that's only if I have more health than my opponent. That worked out. That worked out real nice. <laughs> Let's see what this Rotting Dro can give me. Plus two, plus two, draw a card. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're just chipping away at that dude with our right lane that the enemy is apparently ignoring. Oh my goodness. Well, that sucks. Okay, so hold on, we have nine, so if I summon this, I also have six. We're going to summon that, summon that over there so we can hopefully... Nice. Awesome. Love it. And we can still summon this. That's what I've been waiting on. Now what item is he going to get? 2-1 and... Shackle a creature. We're going to shackle the 6-4. And we are going to give him an extra card. Oh my. That card just got really bad. Okay. So. We can play a bit. We can play him. And him. So. Yeah, we're definitely going to silence another creature. Definitely going to be doing that. 
but I also kind of need guard. So we're going to play the guard card. Nice, nice. Perfect. Detain, shackle a creature. We're going to shackle that one. This is strategic, I promise. And we're still going to be able to play this bad boy. Now what items are they going to get? Plus 5, plus 5, sweet, plus the 2 from that card, plus, wait, did that give him, shoot, whatever, man. And I'm going to play the 1-1 one, one over here, I know it's kind of wasteful. It is going to make it a 1-3 though, and we're going to go ahead and kill that card, just to decrease some of his damage. Kill him, and use this to kill him. Um, I kind of want to dive right now and just try and deal as much damage as possible to his hero. But I need to manage. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think we're going to be okay. So we can play my entire hand right now. We're going to play him. See what item he gets. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use that. Silence another creature. So we're going to silence him just to knock that damage down a little bit, even though I'm pretty sure I can kill the enemy character. I haven't even looked at how much damage I can deal. Yep, I can kill him. So we're going to do 10. Uh, then we're going to do 3. Uh, then we're gonna do four, and then we're gonna do one. Boop! <laughs> there we go. This is one of my favorite games I've played so far, just because of the random item thing in the left lane. Super fun. Love it. So, come on. No arguments there. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and next time I'm hoping to bring some online multiplayer gameplay, but until then, y'all have an awesome day.